Friendly games of soccer with cousins and siblings are part of the normal lives of many families. Crown goes wild. That's right. Including this family in Lake Country, one which has a family member with a rare disability. 17-year-old Shamira's 18th chromosome is what causes her disability. Some genetic material is missing, while there is some extra of other genetic material. Mama Sunta says there is no real name for the disorder. She is just thankful her beautiful daughter is alive and thriving. I'm going to shoot. Don't worry, little bro. She is also thankful to have a sister and nephew who care so much about Shamira. They are willing to fundraise for a program that Shamira will be able to use when she is 18. It's wonderful that they consider her as part of their life and that they want to uh, do this in her honour. Playing soccer and video games are just two things Shamira really likes. She also really likes art and some of her works are proudly displayed in the family home. And when she is able to attend programs offered by the Cool Arts Society, she will likely be bringing home more finished pieces. And on June 28th, Rita and Mark are going to allow their long locks to be docked, then heads shaved to support Cool Arts, so that Shamira and others who attend their programs can express themselves, share time with like folks, and have access to a place where they feel accepted and understood. Shamira is interested in doing her art, but she wouldn't be able to plan and organize and do all of the logistical things that are required for her to be able to do art, but she could go to a program and participate. What I like about doing art is I like to work with my hands. I just like having that feeling of something that I can make. Cool Art's primary mandate is to provide art opportunities for individuals with diverse abilities, and she already has an inclination. Uh, then she'll definitely thrive in the program. I'm really excited for him. I'm, I'm thrilled that he was willing to do it. I think it just opens up possibilities for how he'll look at the world and how he'll look at other people. It's not the first time Rita has helped fundraise by shaving her head. Last time was six years ago, and money raised that time went towards BC Children's. Hair that time and this time will go to wigs for kids. It's another way of volunteering. Where we live, we're kind of, we're quite rural and I find it difficult to get in to give my time sometimes. This is a good way of doing it. I don't have to do much to grow my hair. It just comes. If you would like to pledge, Mark or Rita, you can do so online. From Lake Country for Shaw, I'm Tammy Williams.